Quote, radiation is harmful, but few want to believe it. Concerned about laptop radiation? Well, you should be. Cell phones do seem to have some mysterious effect on the brain. Guys, I had no idea that I'd been exposed to this unseen radiation, EMR, without even realizing it. So I've got to find out some more information and I've got to find somebody who knows what they're talking about. Firstly, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, see me today. You're welcome. I'm actually here to ask you some questions about EMR. Sure, let me save you some information. So when we look into electromagnetic radiation, we need to understand there's so many components to it. The first thing we need to see is, of course, the ionizing radiation, which we refer to like uh, nuclear exposure, uh, space exposure, where these kind of uh, ionizing radiation can be dangerous. Even also the usage of like X-ray. And then there's another component which is less harmful, but we cannot rule it out, which is non-ionizing radiation. These come from our phones, laptops, our microwave, and even our Wi-Fi. But you must know something that there's something called as rule of formation where red blood cells start to stack on each other. So if you see there are blood vessels, there are many branches in them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you have red blood cells traveling inside. And imagine this is a red blood cell and they start to form clumps or stagnation. They start to stack each, among each other. So what happens is due to the presence of iron inside red blood cells, they are rich in ferrite. Magnets or electromagnetic radiation increase or makes their charge more positive and they start to stack. And when they start to stack, this disrupts their interchange between delivering oxygen into the cells and then taking up carbon dioxide into the red blood cells. There's many studies and journals that are citing that an excessive exposure towards the EMR can lead to cancer provocation in the body. Whether it's benign or malignant, possibilities are there. After hearing about all these health problems, I'm a bit concerned about myself and I'm curious to know what my red blood cells could actually look like. Yeah, we have a, a simple prick test and we can actually analyze the red blood cells. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's go. Being always on the phone and my laptop for work and learning about the health effects of EMR is beginning to worry me. So let's find out what my results of my blood test are as suggested by Dr. Rowland. So what we can see here are red blood cells. We can see red blood cells, they are very translucent and they don't have a nucleus. And we can see beautifully the red blood cells uh, moving around in the, in the, in the, in the matrix. So, my question to you is, how long since you were away from your phone? I think about 40 minutes maybe. That seemed not your kind of reality. Oh no, I'm on my phone all the time. Okay, <laughs> so what we can do is, you get on your phone for maybe close to about half an hour, holding it, and then we'll check again and see how does the capillary blood look like. It looked like my first blood test result was clean with no signs of blood clotting or blood clumps. But would just 30 minutes of cell phone usage really do any harm at all to my body? I hope not. Let's find out. Okay, let's have a look. So you can see all the cells now being stacked. See, all of them are, you cannot see those loose cells. You can see most of the cells now all stuck. Clumped up together, right? Exactly, exactly. Just look at that. The big message is always to try to reduce our exposure. It's almost impossible not to use, but try to be a bit more cautious in the usage. So the thing is, I know you say it's better to reduce. It's impossible for somebody like me. And I'm sure there's lots of people out there that also need to be holding their phones. So, is there anything I can do? This is the device that can actually help harmonize your electromagnetic frequency wave. And you wanna see how it works? Sure. Come. See how much of exposure is going. Can you see the exposure to your phone? Yeah. It's high, right? Yeah. You can see the laptop and all still are having a lot of exposure. So I'm going to turn this on. Wow. 
No explosives. It's zero. Yeah, exactly. With the environment harmonizer turned on beside me, Dr. Roland and I proceeded to do a third blood test to see just how well this technology supposedly suppresses EMR. Okay, so this looks completely different to the last test, doesn't it? Yep. Clearly looks different, lesser uh, rule of formation. Okay, well thank you so much for introducing me not only into the health factors we need to be aware of mm. when it comes to using devices, but also thank you for showing me a solution that can eliminate that.